We're going to take a look at All Data Shop Manager. It's one of our shop management programs that we offer. This program integrates with the repair using the same web portal, so you'd be using the same credentials to access All Data Repair and All Data Shop Manager. When you get into the program, you have to create a new document, and you'll see here that you're in a draft stage. Before we get in and creating an estimate to invoice for the customer, let's go over some of the things you see on the screen. Firstly, you're in a draft stage, and then it follows the flow, estimate, repair order to invoice. Adding a customer, click on here. Adding the vehicle is right here. Some of the stuff on this side going through, shop note internal only is going to be something for you and your technicians to know about the customer's habits or the vehicle that you're working on. The customer will not see these notes. Service rider is who's doing this estimate to invoice for the customer, and technician is who's going to be working on the vehicle. This is good to know maybe for warranty purposes at a later time. If you need to add a proposed completion date, you can go ahead and select it right here. Top supplies and hazmat fees, depending on the state that you're in, you might be able to charge for this. You can set these up in the settings tab and choose if you want to do a percentage or a dollar amount, and that will populate here. Going over some of these tiles on the bottom here, this is how you're going to add items to that estimate. AD Parts and Labor pulls all the information from the repair program, gives you the OEM part numbers and your labor times. AutoZone Parts links to the AutoZone catalog for your commercial account as well as your local store's availability and pricing. Next part catalog is going to be for your other vendors. Custom part is going to be a part that maybe you buy from a junkyard or a salvage. Custom labor is going to be those labors that are not associated with a specific labor time or something that you're going to do special one-off for a customer, maybe a performance job. Symptoms and DTCs. Why is the customer coming into the shop? What do they need done to their vehicle? Notes gives you several different options to put a specific note on for the customer. It can be a custom note, a concern of the customer's, tech note, tech recommendation, or the work performed. Each of these give you a thousand characters to go ahead and type those notes. Flat fee is going to be for maybe a towing or fixing a flat on a tire, something that is not associated with a part or, again, a specific labor. Discount is going to be giving a specific discount on either parts or the labor. Now that we've gone over some stuff, let's create an estimate for a customer. Go ahead and hit new customer, type in the customer's name, their phone number, the email and address can be added right now or at a later time, depending on what your needs are. Now that we've got at least the first name, last name, and a phone number, let's add their vehicle in here. You have a couple different options. You can use these drop down boxes, or you can type in the vehicle VIN number, or if it's an existing customer, use their license plate. Use the drop down boxes to pick our vehicle. Now that we have our vehicle in there, it gives you some options. If you didn't put in the VIN prior, you can now put in the VIN number and the license plate. We hit apply, and it's going to pull this information over. So now that we have our customer information in here and their vehicle, let's go ahead and create an estimate. This customer is coming in to get their water pump replaced, so we're going to go to AD Parts and Labor. We're going to search for that water pump. It gives us the OEM part number, the nationwide average pricing, and our labor time. We're going to go ahead and get our labor. We hit Add, hit Apply, and now we have our labor. Now we need to add a part to this. We're going to use our AutoZone catalog. Click on there, answer any questions that they might ask, such as a trim and what country it was manufactured in. They might ask you again what the engine is, and then again, Selecting the water pump shows you a nice picture. Some information on the pump tells me that my local store has one. Based on the markups you did in the settings, the price you're selling to the customer, and your cost. Follow the same process of hitting Add, hitting Apply, and now I have my labor and my part. I'm in the draft stage. I can just follow again the process of hitting Estimate, let them take a look at it. I can go ahead and print this off and give it to the customer. Once they have approved it, I hit repair order. 
I verify that they have given me authorization to create this repair order and get to work on their vehicle. And once this work is done, I now can hit invoice. Yes, I want to create an invoice. And I can go ahead and take the payment from the customer. Gives you the ability to select how they're paying you by cash, check, credit card. And I can post the payment. Now this invoice is paid, I can go ahead and print this off to the customer. What Shop Manager also does, once you've created your invoice and selected as paid, it will give you some reporting functions for your taxes, such as your sales, your tax, and your payment type report.